Aeroflot has recently resumed its Boeing 747 service, which it had previously discontinued due to its uneconomical nature even prior to the 2022 conflict. However, Russia has its four-engine plane waiting in the wings. The IL-96 was designed and built in the Soviet Union. However, by the time it was approved for flight, the majority of domestic and Soviet-dependent airlines had already transitioned to imported aircraft from Boeing and Airbus. Although the IL-96 was a new aircraft, it was largely abandoned due to its poor efficiency and comfort compared to its competitors, even in the 1990s. Aeroflot rapidly transitioned to imported aircraft following the collapse of the USSR. In the past 15 years, Russia hasn't undertaken any development of alternative long-haul aircraft initiatives. Four outdated and inefficient engines, a three-person cockpit crew, and an expired service life are the reasons for the retirement of the few IL-96s that were manufactured. There have been approximately 30 IL-96s built since 1992. To resume production today, factories will have to build new production lines from the ground up, necessitating the acquisition of new equipment and supply chains. Another obstacle is the difficulty of establishing mass production for an updated IL-96. The IL-96-400 heavily relies on Western components for its modern avionics and two-pilot cockpit. However, replacing foreign components is precisely why Russia needs to resume IL-96 production. As a result, the Ministry of Transport picked the IL-96-300 model, which is older. This version requires a three-person crew due to the manual nature of many functions. There are numerous switches and controls in the outdated cockpit, and the overhead luggage bins are exclusively located on the cabin's sides. This approach is not unique to the IL-96. Additionally, Russia intends to resume the production of the Tu-214, a medium-haul, twin-engine aircraft with a narrow body. Nevertheless, this will not be the upgraded Tu-204SM, rather it will be the older, simpler, and obsolete model. Before Western sanctions, Russian civilian aircraft were equipped with Western engines. The reality is that today, the entire world buys jet engines from just four top manufacturers, Rolls-Royce, Safran, General Electric, and Pratt & Whitney. The only exception in Russia was the Tu-214, powered by the PS-90 engine. The preference for imported turbofan engines over domestic ones wasn't accidental. Russian engines are heavier, less powerful, have shorter service lives, require more frequent maintenance, and are significantly more expensive. Ru Russia, however, is the largest country in the world. A seven-day train journey cannot realistically replace an eight-hour flight from Moscow to Vladivostok. With the appropriate planning, Russia's aircraft manufacturers could establish an independent production of avionics, flight control systems, and fuselages in an adequate quantity. Nevertheless, domestic engines may not be sufficient for all sectors, despite their limitations. The military and Russian civilian aviation compete for scarce resources. For instance, the IL-76 MD-90A military transport aircraft currently in active production boasts four engines. Nevertheless, Russia does not require an excessive number of IL-96 aircraft. Over an extended period, the production cycle may yield approximately 100 aircraft. The IL-96 offers its advantages. The Ilyushin on L-96 aircraft is a unique entity in the field of long-haul aviation due to its meticulously engineered features, which prioritize operational efficiency, safety, and passenger comfort. One of its most distinctive features is its spacious fuselage, which can accommodate a significant number of passengers. For example, the IL-96-300 variant is typically equipped with a two-class configuration comprising 262 seats, whereas the IL-96M can accommodate up to 435 passengers in a single-class layout. This cabin design is particularly appealing to airlines that are seeking to improve passenger satisfaction on long-distance flights, as it enables the provision of wider seats, increased legroom, and enhanced aisle space. The IL-96 is genuinely remarkable in terms of its range. The aircraft has a flight range of approximately 4,000 to 11,482 kilometers, depending on the specific modification. This renders it ideal for intercontinental and transcontinental routes, as it facilitates the connection of distant cities without necessitating frequent refueling stops.
For example, the IL-96-400M aims to conduct non-stop flights from Moscow to locations as far away as Johannesburg or Buenos Aires. This capability demonstrates its potential to manage some of the longest routes in commercial aviation. The IL-96 is also exceptional in terms of aerodynamic efficiency. Supercritical airfoils and winglets equip the aircraft's wings during various flight phases, significantly reducing drag and enhancing fuel efficiency. These design elements facilitate the aircraft's capacity to sustain optimal performance during protracted flights. Furthermore, the increased tail surface area serves to improve flight stability, particularly in the event of an engine failure. This capability ensures the aircraft's safe flight continuation and control in challenging situations, making it a reliable choice for long-haul operations. Another engineering marvel is the landing gear system of the IL-96. The IL-96 boasts a tricycle landing gear configuration, comprising two main gear assemblies and a nose gear. Even on shorter or less than ideal runways, each main gear assembly is equipped with multiple wheels that ensure the aircraft's weight is distributed uniformly and that landings and takeoffs take place smoothly. The braking system effectively manages the aircraft's deceleration, adding an extra layer of safety during landing. The IL-96 also boasts significant strengths in fuel efficiency and management. The aircraft comes with an automatic fuel system that is specifically designed to optimize fuel distribution across its nine tanks, one of which is strategically situated in the fuselage center. This distribution ensures optimal fuel consumption and maintains balance and stability during flight. The capability to manually override this system further enhances the aircraft's safety profile, providing pilots with greater control in emergencies. In summary, the Aleutian 96 is a highly appealing choice for long-haul flights due to its advanced fuel management system, robust landing gear, aerodynamic efficiency, extended flight range, and wide fuselage. In addition to enhancing operational performance, these design features also prioritize passenger safety and comfort. Nevertheless, it is important to acknowledge that the IL-96 hasn't achieved significant commercial success in comparison to competitors such as Boeing and Airbus, despite its advanced capabilities. This context enhances its reputation as a dependable and efficient aircraft that meets the requirements of modern aviation. Now, do you think Russia should totally Russify IL-96-400M and operate it? Let us know in the comment. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.